Hello, everyone. I am here with Dana from Book Brush. Book Brush is a really, really cool software that helps you to make promotional images for your books. And you all know I use Canva a lot. Many of us know Canva well, but it can be really overwhelming to get started with it. And it also is not book specific. And so Book Brush is really, really neat because it's so focused on just books, just the things that you need for books like trailers and ads and all kinds of promotional images. So in a little bit, Dana is going to share her screen and show us all how it works. But first, I just want to say welcome. Yay, thanks for having me. I'm so excited to be here and share all the benefits of the software and the services here at Book Brush. We are specifically here for you authors. Everything is for the literary world, publishers, editors, authors, that's who we serve. So we're really excited to be here. Thank you so much, Caroline, for having me today. Fantastic. So are you one of the founders of this software or did you come in later? Oh my gosh, I wish, they're genius. Um, no, I came in about a year and a half ago. Um, I started as an author educator and was running some of the webinars and trainings for the authors that we do from time to time. And then about six months ago, I took over as COO. And the neat thing behind that is I too am an author. Can you see which way do I go? Those are, those are all my books behind me. So I have the honor of knowing the pain points of all of you as well, which is just nice to be with my peers and working for a company that serves people like myself. So it's been great because it's coming from a place of passion and also a place of um, my past. So I've been in MarTech, which is marketing software for over 10 years, and I've been in marketing for 20. There's a lot of this that I know 20. I always, don't look like that, right? I hope I know. The, those numbers creep up on you fast. You know, <laughs> that? What? I try not. The other day I, I told somebody my age and they were like, we're the same age. That's not your age. <laughs> I was like, you're right. It's not. <laughs> that was last year. Oy vey. Um, but it's been an honor being here at Book Brush and learning. I, I've been learning every day for my own career how to continue to market and grow because you could write the next Harry Potter, but if you don't market it, no one will know about it. So true. People want your book. They have to find out about it. They do. They do. It's very cool that you are an author and that Book Brush is really focusing on just actual people who understand. It's not like some person was like, I bet I could make a bunch of money off of authors. You know, it's like really for authors from authors. Yes. And, and it's a community. We, you know, when we first started this, we didn't realize the need. Well, they didn't realize the need. And then they just saw all the different pain points coming in. And we've been able to expand and grow our software into services and education because of that. And it's just been wild to see the appreciation and the um, group effort. I mean, sometimes we get on these webinars and we go over by 30 minutes because people just want to talk and learn about other people and their experiences. And we feel that this is a very special community because as you know, and I know this can feel really lonely. So having other people, I mean, there's nobody over your shoulder telling you to write 2000 words, right? Oh, unless you have a publisher with the deadline, because that is true. Um, but it, it really is hard. And like, who do you talk to? Who's your coworker that you talk to? Well, the book brush community, whether it's on Facebook or Instagram or during one of our webinars, everybody that's there is feeling the same things that you guys are feeling. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, you're right. It can be very isolating as you're just interacting with your characters, sitting alone in a room with a computer. It really is. We're like, sometimes I want to tell my husband about like, oh, this character did something different today. And my husband's like, well, you wrote that, right? <laughs> like, he's like, really? I'm like, but that wasn't my original thought. The character took on a life of its own, you know? And he's like, okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's really hard for a non-writer to understand what that is like. It doesn't happen super often for me because I'm like, I outline to death. But every once in a while, the character yeah. doesn't really surprises you. Or I was rereading a section this morning and I was like, I don't remember writing that, but I like it. 
<laughs> oh, great. What a surprise. That's a wonderful <laughs> surprise. Yes. So let's get into the back end here of Book Brush and show everyone all of these different things you can do, what you can do for free, what's paid, sure. and uh, take some of the overwhelm out. I would love that. So let me share my screen with you. And here we go. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I'm going to show you, which is awesome that this is the pop up, is you'll see, find out how my pitch session led to a book and TV deal. Um, as I mentioned very briefly, we aren't just a software, we have service and education and our education is called Book Marcon. It's a marketing conference specific for authors. It's August 11th through 13th. There is a free webinar this Wednesday um, at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, June 7th, and I will be chatting. So obviously, so you can see the title of this, I had a pitch session. I landed a publisher from that pitch session and that uh, pitch session got me a multi book deal. And then I'm also in contract for option to TV. Oh so, my goodness, that is so cool. Thanks. And you guys are actually the first audience to hear me even speak about it. Cause other than this picture, nobody else knows. So um, breaking news right here. This yes. is very exciting. So if you guys want to learn uh, more about that, feel free to, Come to our website and um, it's free. So sign up and we'll tell you a little bit more about that. And then we'll tell you about Marcon. But it is August 11th through 13th. And it's three days filled with 21 speakers, all helping your author business grow from marketing to advertising to PR to business. So it's it's really neat. It's a fun niche. So anyway. Yeah, what well, while we're, while we're mentioning that, we should yeah. say that if you're on my email list, we're going to be giving away a few tickets for yeah, five. So make sure that you are subscribed at financiallyfreeauthor.com. So uh, on, I think, Wednesday, uh, and just in case you're watching the replay of this, what day is today? June 6th? June not June yeah. Wednesday, June seventh is when that email will go out. So, Perfect. if you are watching before then, make sure that you are signed up there. Yes, I love that. So, we'll hopefully, we'll see everybody there, and we'll give away five tickets, and that'll be really free, to, uh, fun too. So, well, this is what the home page looks like when you log into Bookbrush, and there's um, a bunch of different tools that you can use. I'm only going to focus today really on the custom creator because it's our number one tool and it's the first tool that we um, started with. It was just custom creators. So you have instant mock-ups, which are just mock-ups that are already made that you put your book into, um, trailer creator where you can create a book trailer, um, cover creator. So you have the ability to design your own covers in here with licensed free images, which is really neat too. And then um, box set creator. I always like to just say right away that this is not a physical box set creator. It is just an image for box set creator. So it's really unique. I've never seen that in any other software that you could do mock-ups of a whole box set. No, and it's used so often. I mean, I could go, I could spiral real fast and go down the rabbit hole, but um, a lot of books, especially if you're using ads and you have series, a box set creator is a great way to get sales. Somebody's like, you know, we all binge re read and we all binge watch TV. So box set is a great image to have up. So your readers know that there's more to be read in that series. And sometimes that's the push that they need to purchase your book. So yeah, yeah. it's awesome. Um, custom creator though is where I will go right now just to give you guys an overview about how easy this is. And we'll make one together so you can see it'll take literally a minute for us to create something that you can use. So when you come here over on the left hand side, it gives you all the different platforms that you would need ads for um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I don't know, Caroline, what's your your favorite? Is it do you post on all of these? Do you have a favorite? Instagram is definitely my favorite. Yeah, me too. I, I don't know if it's my age or what it is, but Instagram is my my go to um, YouTube, a book bub if you need a book bub ad because those are kind of finicky. Uh, any of these, I'm not going to go through all the gamuts, but once you come through here, you can see all the different designs that you can make. 
One of the ones that I love is Amazon A plus content. Um, I can chat with you a little bit about that when we talk about services, but that's a great one to increase your sales on Amazon. But for now, I'm just going to go to a Facebook ad because it's large and gives you an idea of a big canvas. So let's say that you wrote a sci-fi series. Um, the first thing that I always start with is a background. Now, many people start with a book template. I start with the background because I like to set up my scene. That's how I visually like to get into it. But either way is fine. Background right here. You've picked your ad size. So now we're going into background. So I'll just put outer space because there's got to be some good outer space images. And for mm -hmm. the sake of time, I'm going to click the first one. So <laughs> this is beautiful. Obviously, this gives you a space scene. You would know that this is sci-fi. Your next step is going to be the book template. Now, this is what makes our software really different. And Caroline, you mentioned Canva. Would you agree that on Canva, there are no 3D book covers like this? Yeah, there are a few book cover mock-ups, but it's very, very limited. Nothing like the amount of different ones. Yeah. And uh, the cover reveal ones, those are really unique too. I love those. Yeah. And so many different options and styles. So many. As you can see, I'm scrolling through them. The um, cover reveals, which you mentioned, I'll go to those because I really, I think, where are those cover? I know they're here. Reveal. There we go. Um, I think these are really neat. So if you are strict about your book launch, and I just have gotten there. So if you guys aren't, <laughs> trust me, I get it. <laughs> But now I have this five week plan that actually one of the services that we do hourly services, which is our VA service. Um, that's part of something that we can provide you is a marketing plan for your launch. And mm -hmm. you know that when you're getting your cover out there into the world, it's so important to tease everyone. So this is just a great way to have a teaser of what your cover is going to look like. And as I'm scrolling here, you'll see like, if you want to show, the side, or you want to show just a little top portion over here, or maybe you did a um, paranormal romance and see those claws scratched um, along the top. That could be really neat. Or maybe it's a mystery and you use the puzzles or it's something from the 1800s and you use the stone. I could go on and on and on. There is thousands of book templates in here for you to choose from so that we can help you better market your book. But for the sake of this, it won't be a cover reveal. We'll just do a physical book. You can also do an ebook, phone, with spine, multiple devices, what, whatever folks floats your boat. I love so, the audio stuff too, that you can yeah. you know the, the little headphones and stuff like that. Yeah, I love that one. And you can even mm -hmm. um, get into it a little bit more and make it, well, actually let's do a multi-device and let's see if there's one with yeah. Okay, cool. I'll use this one. I think this will be fun. So multi-device, um, I'll just pick, oh, I have a sci-fi book. Yay. I didn't, I was unsure which, which uh, login I had. So I'm glad that this one worked out. Um, it's too small for me. So once you double click on this, you'll see the size over here on the left-hand side. There's so many different things that you can do in here, but I just made it a little bit bigger so you can see it. And there you go. I have the phone and I have the ebook with my cover on it in one click. That took seconds. And there it is. So I'm going to move this over a little bit. One of the things that I love, which it's not a secret, but I don't know if everyone uses it. This eye down here shows you where the background expands past the canvas. I always like to use it to make my background like a little bit bigger and then kind of manipulate the background into the place that I want it. And then once I have, I click the show hide element and to the Ooh, that is a cool trick. That's a fun trick, right? There's so many tricks here. So I love that one. That's kind of neat, but let's keep going and add some text to it. So over here on the left-hand side, remember all the tools are going to be on the left-hand side. Click on the text box, add new text. And just to keep it simple today, I'm going to say out of this world read. Ha ha ha. <laughs> so we'll add that to the top over here. And then because my books are also um, at, uh, well, actually, let me just do one more thing that I think is important. 
So you can have any font that you want. If you have a specific font for your book and um, you have a designer that gave you that font or told you what the font was, you can upload that font. So for example, if you click here to add more fonts, over here where it says drag and drop image or click to upload, you could upload your custom font there. I think this is really important because font speaks volumes to your book. So you don't want to have a sci-fi font when it's a romantic comedy, right? So if you have your own specific fonts, you have the ability to do that. Or we have an amazing blog and on our book club blog that talks about font. And you could go down the rabbit hole with that as well, you know, figuring out what fonts work for your book. But I sometimes mm -hmm. just Google, like, what's the best font for XYZ? But mm -hmm. this one, let's make it a sci-fi font. So um, I know it's in here. I just can't remember where it is. We'll do space mono. That's a good one. So that's a, a font. And I'm going to just make this centered. Perfect. And now let's add a little bit more. So images is another thing that I love doing for my ads. One of the things that I think is really important is letting your readers know where they can buy your books. So here we've got Amazon. And Amazon, if you wanted additional Amazon logos, you just click on this button mm. and it'll pull up the white instead of the black background, because obviously we used available on Amazon, it had the black background on this dark background, you'd never be able to see it. So I'm just gonna click here and then place that in the center. And if you're like, well, I don't know if that's centered or not, you can go to the toggle grid lines. And then one of the things that I really like is you can move these. So if I wanted to center it in the middle of this, I could just move that and then here we go and I can find where that center is now a little bit easier. And there we go. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a neat thing too, right? Lots of tricks here. Um, one of the other things that I love about using our system too is that they've gone the extra mile to make this really fun. So we could leave this as just as it is and available on Amazon out of this world read and that's that. And if you were to download it, you could download it as a PNG, a JPEG or a PDF. Recommended is PNG because it will be the best quality image and it also retains transparency. And if you're unfamiliar with that, if you didn't have this gorgeous background and I had took it out and I just wanted the maybe the image of my books, then you would want a transparent background so that you could use the image of the book. That's why PNG retains transparency. Just a little fun design knowledge there. Um, one of the other things though- Oh, it's already. Yeah, right? So much stuff here. One of the other things, if you were looking to animate it, which I love animation, you could come, let's do the background because it's the world and the world is moving. Um, you would click on the background and then I can add animations. I'm gonna click here to add animation. There's over a hundred different ways to animate your ads. Okay. So it's just so exciting. I'm gonna open it to show you. You can do attention grabbers like, this little shake or jello, I think is kind of cool. Entrances it can fade down, fade in, or exits are the same thing, fade down, fade in. Backgrounds, Tim Burns is all the different backgrounds that you can use. So that's what we'll probably do for this one. And then you just click on them to save your favorite ones, but I've already done that. So let's just do Ken Burns. And now I'll play it for you so you can see what it looks like. Oh my goodness. Isn't that fun? Oh, I love it. It's so cool. You can do that to the backgrounds. You could do that even if you wanted to do it to your words or you wanted to do it to the um, you know, image of the book. Let's just add one more animation so you can see. Let's do fade in. And now if I play this, you'll see both. Cool. So Lots of fun stuff. Then when you download this and save it, you will save it as an MP4 file. That'll be a video file. And then you can upload that file to any of your social. So maybe you're watching this and you're like, Dana, that's awesome. You made something fantastic, but I don't have a lot of time and this feels like a lot of stuff. Okay, I'm going to show you something else that I think is really neat. And is this whole, everything here something that you can do on the free plan? Yes, everything I just showed you was something you can do on the free plan. And I can take you to that too. So for the free plan, you get 15 um, free images 
for the year. And that's if something, if you want to start playing with it, you can see if you really like it, if it makes sense for you to do it. Um, or you can do a little bit more, which is the plus plan or the gold plan or the platinum. I would say our gold plan is probably the most um, used platform because that allows you the ability to upload your fonts, get all the animation tools, um, you get more uh, templates, you get more covers, um, more stamps, you just get more of everything. And then you also get um, reader hub pages and then instant mockups. So I haven't shown instant mockups yet, but I will. But everything that I did just show you, you get on the plus platform. And then obviously you can get 15 images that you made on the free platform as well. You, you, I don't know what the reader hub page is either. So talk about oh, that. Oh my, my goodness. Let me show you a reader um, hub page. Let's so see. I'm distracting you from your plan here. I know. No, I love that. I love going, I love going rogue. Um, <laughs> I let me, I don't know if I, here, I will ding my assistant and see if she can. Can you send me a link to any of my reader hub pages. All right, she'll write me back because she's working today. So we'll get one of those and I'll show you what that is. Reader hub pages are for street teams. So if you have um, a team of people who love reading your book and that every time you have a release, they um, post their own social images, they post um, videos or whatever you've provided them, or maybe they've made their own. A lot of my street team people make a lot of amazing things that I couldn't even believe they've come up with uh, on their own. So I'm like, can I take that? <laughs> so this is a link that you can send out to your street teams or even your ARC readers. And then on release day, they can choose from this um, and then they can post it. And that gets you a, a larger audience and then it also helps you boost sales. So it's really a fun thing that you can do. And when you're in um, your, your book brush uh, subscription, you can save it straight to your reader hub page. So that's also something that's really nice too, is like everything works together. So yeah. great question. And then platinum, just so you know, a little different with that is background removals, removals and trailers and then the box set creator. And, and Caroline, you were mentioning the box set um, creator before we even jumped in on this. I don't know if you want to talk about your own experience with that. I don't really write in series, but okay. I know so many people who do. And especially if you're trying to make a living at writing, like having series and having rapid releases, you know, not just like one book a year is, is so helpful for that really build up that backlist. And like you said, the box set creator really helps people know that there is a series, that there are more books that they can dive into. So it's really neat. I like it. Yeah. yeah. I, I, used it. I, <laughs> I think it's, it's neat too, because I don't know where else it is. Like I've never seen somebody have it on their platforms before, except if you're a digital or a, um, a virtual assistant or a designer, I've never seen somebody have a automatic way to do it. So yeah, it is a really neat um, thing. So yep, that's pricing um, and it is annual. Just um, people see this and they get confused. So I always like to point that out in the fine print, but it is so worth it. So let me bring you back to the homepage. And now um, you did ask about instant mockups. So I think I'll go there and show you a little bit about that. And then I'll take you guys into services just to help you a little bit about what we can do for you if you need to streamline your marketing. So love that. You asked about um community templates too, right? Was that part of what we were talking about earlier? Because I could actually go to that. Let's go to that. That that's always fun. So community templates are really neat. So um right here when you're in the custom creator, community template templates is at the top. So I've had a couple of people ask me like, hey, um, if I go into community templates, am I ruining it for somebody else? Or um, did other people make these and they throw them in there? And, and no, that's not it. It's what we make for you guys that makes it easier. All you have to do is really throw in your book and then edit um, it based on your needs. So for example, these are always going to be the new ones that are going to be at the top. You can come over here and make it genre specific. You could make it platform specific. 
one of the things I really do like about this, if you're having a hard time figuring out like, hey, I don't know what I should do for my street teams because we were just talking about street teams, right? Um, you could come over here and click street teams and then a bunch of different ideas will pop up for your street team or maybe, yes. yeah, and that, that's kind of exciting, right? Like to be able to have somebody tell you what to do. I mean, we yeah. it's really nice to make, make it not be on your plate all the time. So that's kind of a neat one. Um, same thing for uh, social networks. Maybe you want to have all of your followers start to follow you in all your different social places. So this is a neat one too. I'm just going to use this one because I think this is kind of fun. So you come in here and then you just change your name. So it's, you know, mine is author Dana Claire. So then you can come in here and maybe make this smaller so it'll fit in and you can choose any book. I'll give you a little, little hint, a little tip here. If you click the lightning bolt, that will bring up all of your different books on the left-hand side. And then you could just pick one of them. So those are the covers that you've previously uploaded because those are your book covers. Correct. Yep. That's right. So here, I'll just go back in here. If let's say I was missing a book, um, I am actually missing a book. I just don't know which one I would come in here, click drag, drag and drop, and then I would upload my book to it and then put it in here. So you can come in here and maybe you don't have a book, bub. That's fine. All you have to do is click on it, delete it, get rid of this, delete it. And then we start to play around with these. We move them up, move it up, and then you just make it your own. So it's just a great way to, oh, well, look at me. Okay. <laughs> you can make this make it your own. <laughs> Caroline, we're all human. So we just go to the undo button. Woo! <laughs> So anyway, that's just like another great way to come in here and work from a starting point. But let me go back to home. If you ever lost, you always click home and it brings you back to the beginning. And then instant mock-ups are not available on the free plan or the plus plan. So you'd have to be on gold or platinum. But these mock-ups are all made for you to use. And then, of course, you can, you know, add to them. So there's two variations. There's instant mock-up 2.0 and then there's um, instant mockups. The only difference is that instant mockups, the original, the OG, you can't edit them unless you save it and bring it into custom creator, but the 2.0, you can edit. Have you used mm -hmm. these? Uh, yes, I did play with that a little bit. I love that because it's so much fun. It's so easy and you can click multiple ones at the same time so like you know i'm just going to click a couple so you can see here's three there's like little air buds on that on that yeah one. i know i mean honestly there's so look at this little heart <laughs> isn't that adorable like there's so many different things in here and you like i said you can filter it by genre you can filter it um a lot of different ways but anyway let's just click next and here you can go in and same thing you want to edit it you go over to where it has the little pencil you click edit, hands down the best book I've ever read. Well, I'm going to keep that because <laughs> that sounds great. I'm just going to said that at some point. <laughs> yeah, somebody has. I love it. And then you come in here and you could click, um, I'll do this one. And I am an Amazon bestselling author, but I am not a New York Times bestselling author yet. So that might be where I'd have to delete it. <laughs> and then, you know, you can add things here too. Same thing like we just did. You go over to the left-hand side, all the tools are there. So if you wanted to add more text, you know, add more. And then you can just place it wherever you want it, change the color, change the font. And it, that, you know, really the world is your oyster by getting in here and playing around with it. It's so much fun. The, the purple background, it doesn't match that, uh, the colors of the cover. Is that something that can be changed? So the, that is something, great question. That is something that can be changed, not necessarily on all of them. So for this one at the top, you'll see there's that strip. So we could come in here and there's this like eyedropper. Now the eyedropper only works on Chrome. So Firefox cap will not have this capability. So if you are working off of Firefox, I just wanna let you know that that eyedropper won't pop up, but you come in here, click the eyedropper, and then you can click on any part. I mean, that's the mm -hmm. ugliest orange I've ever seen. Hold on, let's let's find something else. Okay, that's a little bit better. And then you could come down here and either 
memorize what this is, or you could just come down here and do the same thing. And then you'd go back to the eyedropper and, oh, I guess it didn't stay for the other one. Now, what I can't do is see how this background has that purple leaf. Mm -hmm. I can't change the purple leaf because that is not an element. You can mm -hmm. only change elements. So this is an element made with, and here I'll show you what elements are just so you have a visual idea of what elements are. So this element is a rectangle. <laughs> so that was made up here, um, just kind of made it a little bit skinnier. So I wouldn't be able to change that background. And you're Ooh, right. I mean, arrows and stuff, yeah. you could do that like, this book includes these tropes, arrows. Yeah, arrows. oh, I love the arrows that trope, tropes sell books. I. People, I literally, I'm looking for a book, go enemies to lovers, I'll buy it. <laughs> exactly. There's some of us that have, that's an auto buy just immediately. Yeah, it's a one clicker. So <laughs> anyway, there's lots of things that you can do in here. If you are feeling overwhelmed, and this is one of the new things for 2023, I am really good at ads. I am not good at video. I've never been good at video. So we have because a lot of our authors have asked for it we developed a va service called hourly concepts it is in addition or it could supplement the software and what we do is we work on an hourly basis as your designer for a fraction of the cost of what it would normally cost you you mm -hmm. can do anything from a 10-hour plan to a five-hour plan to a 20-hour plan and I have 10 hours here, which is great because I didn't even know I, I did have 10 hours. <laughs> but you can use those 10 hours on your plan and request a project. One of the best things that I've ever done, and I'm going to show you it, is use hourly concepts for my Amazon A plus content. So mm -hmm. if I were to go to Amazon and show you my, our, my um, A plus Amazon uh, content, Dana Claire, um, I will show you what I'm talking about because that was the first thing I created when I when I signed up for Book Brush. A plus content for my upcoming novel was the very first thing I I created. <laughs> yeah, and it's such a it's awesome because it is so helpful when you're selling your book. So this is the Amazon A plus content that they made for me. This is a Robin Hood retelling. It's I a young think, adult. Yeah. Okay. We're not seeing that page. So I think oh, you're you not. To share oh, no. again. Um, oh, my goodness. Thank you for telling me. Let's go into, but you were seeing everything on my. Yes. I made okay. sure that that's on there. Maybe I need to remove that one in order to put the other one back on. Let's oh, no, you removed it. Okay. Share screen. So I'm going to do the entire screen this time. So you guys can see everything as I move. Oh, there we go. Do you okay. see that? Yes. Oh, so, gorgeous. In so that this is your actual Amazon listing, and you can put these kind of images in here. Yep. And it goes from the publisher in between your reviews and then your details of your book, which is really, really nice way to grab attention. And I'll show you one more because this one they just did, um, and this is a sports romance. I am just obsessed with this one, and they they are such great designers, and I love working with them. I think they did a really nice job of giving you an idea of what this book is about by using Amazon A plus content just visually. It's so appealing. Gorgeous. Yeah. So there's a lot of things that we can do. Um, that allow you to focus on the things that you're good on in the software. And this is not something I'm good at ads, but Amazon A plus content and videos is where I struggle. So that's where I use them. But we can do anything from a Kickstarter campaign to your author logo, um, to the logo of a, if you had a sports romance so the logo of the sports team and you want to put it on different hard good items for a book signing oh we, my gosh i love that just so much fun so there's really nothing that we can't do when it comes to va services so that is something that is new um retractable author banners has been a big one for us so we we really love wowing people with that one of the other things that 
we do really well are um, animated uh, covers. So that's been kind of a neat thing to show your cover come to life as an ad. Mm -hmm. So really the world is your oyster here um, at uh, Bookbrush. So one other thing that I would love to talk about and, and then any questions that you'd love me to go over anything, we could do that as well. But I want to share with you guys what Book Marcon is. So mm -hmm. as an author, I feel very inspired when I listen to other authors and experts in the industry speak, I don't know about you. Is that something that helps you? Yes. It, it's just like, it feels like a caffeine boost for me. I'm just always walking away from something like this, feeling more empowered in my author career. And I do feel like this changed my life. I know that um, my pitch session story is probably rare, <laughs> but <laughs> I want any one of your listeners to know that I probably sent out 150 query letters and was denied by all of them. <laughs> so yes. this is not like luck of the draw. I've been there. I've cried. I get it. It is not an easy world that we have chosen to be part of. However, I started going to conferences like Bookmark Con and it changed my life. That conference not only led me to a multi-book deal, but it also led me to be more engaged in this industry and becoming the COO of Bookbrush. So mm. I, it's really the best success story that I could ever give you. And it's real and it's heartfelt. Being at Bookbrush has changed my life even more so. So the fact that I could bring Bookmark on and bring it to you guys is really important to me it feels like a full circle of service. So it's I love it's virtual. So you don't yeah. have to worry about getting to a location, paying for a hotel. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is virtual. And if you can't even make it, because I know we all vacation in August, it doesn't matter because you get every single recording and you can watch at your own time. So this is a really neat upcoming. We have all of our featured speakers here. Um, it's very easy to register and learn more about it. You can go to bookbrush.com slash bookmarkon, or you can go to bookmarkon.com and you'll be able to see um, all of the information and, and read more. And one thing that I, I do want to talk about is pitch sessions. Without this, I wouldn't have an option to TV deal. Um, that option to TV deal for Hunterlin ended up getting me a second option to TV deal for Sideliners. So I now have two options for TV deals and they all came from pitch sessions. So I'm just going to click on this to tell you a little bit more about pitch sessions. Have you ever done a pitch session before? I have not. No, I, I like you, I've been through the ringer with, with query letters and everything, but that was like 20 years ago. And yeah. I decided at that point to go indie and I never looked back. Yeah. And indie's great. I mean, I love my indie books. But Sideliners is an indie book that got picked up because of my my uh, traditional published book. So I was just that was lucky. So right? cool. I didn't that. even know how you do that. I've heard of it happening, but I didn't know how you go about that. So now we know now. Now, you know, and these can be that type of in for you, too. And some pitch sessions from. Um, indie authors have actually led to them being represented in other countries. So mm -hmm. that's also another way that you could use a backlist and pitch to get representation somewhere that you're not necessarily, because I'm not in my indie books, very involved in um, other countries promoting it or um, pushing it. <laughs> I don't, wouldn't even know how. <laughs> so, um, that's another way that you could talk to them. And then another thing that you can do, which, um, I actually did do for a Hunterlin is do a first 10 page critique. And this could be for any indie author. And what's really nice is you have an agent looking at your first 10 pages. And let's be honest, the first five pages is where your hook needs to be. So 10 is just an awesome experience to have an agent tell you like, Hey, your first three pages, that was for you. That wasn't for your audience. Get rid of them. Get right to it. And and I need that. Like I am not immune to any of this. Like my I just threw out my first 12 pages of a book 
that I'm writing because my publisher was like, okay, that first chapter was for you. That was not for any of us. <laughs> so this is a really nice way to get some feedback from an expert in the industry as well. So anyway, this is just something I wanted to share with you guys because we are running, um, well, you're going to be running on Wednesday, five free tickets to this event will be given to your audience. And then if your audience wants to pick up a pitch session, they could as well. So this is where you could go to learn more about that. Awesome. Yeah. It's a fun stuff. So anything that, um, I'll go back to, uh, book brush, anything on book brush that you would love for me to share a little bit more with your audience about, um, all the different things that you can do and the things that you use. Hmm. Let's see. We did a good job. We, we covered cover a lot. We did cover a lot. Um, let's take a look at the trailer creator. Sure. So and that's part of a paid plan, right? It is. The trailer creator is part of Platinum. So I would say that for me, because I, I already mentioned this, you guys know, I don't use this because I use hourly concepts, but how I did use it before we had hourly concepts when I was just a um, lowly customer of Book Brush and not working for Book Brush is I came in here and I went through their community templates and they've got some great community templates in here too. So if you clicked on crime, you could have ones that are in crime or if you clicked on horror, um, this one I know that we use a lot in our demonstrations for horror and kind of scary, but the idea is that we have an advanced and an easy version. Easy version is awesome to get started. You just click get started and you hit play because you want to watch it first. Yeah, it is scary. All right, there's lots of blood there. Then <laughs> you click next and it gives you the options to add your own words, um, and even add some animation if you want to add animation or if you want place for the words, you know, taking sections from your blurb, if you have like the hook. Yeah. That's oh my gosh. That's, that. that's actually something that we've seen a lot of requests for. So how many, just because I'm always interested and I love asking this, how many taglines do you make for your book? Not many. I would say one to two. Okay, so preach, me too. <laughs> what what, who is, what I come up with, and I think I'm genius at that point. I don't know about you. <laughs> but I, when I first got published with my publisher, they asked for 10. And I was, I don't know, I just thought that was a lot. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's good to have options and to not bore people with the same one again and again, I guess. And Yes. But I, I have to tell you, so one of the things on hourly concepts is that we will provide you with 10 taglines. And it's been a like it's been a life changer for me because I absolutely love having those 10 additional taglines. I use them for book trailers like this. Um, so yeah, as you said, you could put a tagline in here, an excerpt, um, a book hook. We can also do book hooks. And book hooks are a little bit different than taglines. Like a book hook could be something like, um, it was pouring rain, our car broke down, and we ended up in a motel with one bed, you know, what that that close proximity type of trope. And that could be your hook, but a tagline could, you know, I can't think of a tagline off the top of my head really quickly, but the tagline could just be something about the the book itself, the romance, and it's like a couple words rather than a couple sentences, which could be a book hook. So there's a lot of things that you could add into this trailer. And then all you do is click next and you can change out any of the, the um, video. You can change it even to a picture and keep going through it. And as you go through it, I mean, this one's pretty scary. So I wouldn't, I don't write horror, so <laughs> I don't have anything that looks like this, but if you wanted to, you could change it. You could make it smaller, bigger, anything um, that worked for you. And then at the end, you would download and save it. And then you have a trailer. I do want to show you one of the trailers because I think I can pull it up real quick. Um, can you guys see my PowerPoint presentation? Yes. 
so I can see that. Oh, great. Okay, I'm going to share this because this is absolutely one of my favorite things to share, and I'll go this. Um, there we go. So this is a book by a good friend of mine, Madison, and her book got picked up by Sony, so this is going to be a movie um, next year. So I'm going to show you the trailer that Hourly Concepts made for Madison. Whoops. That's mine. <laughs> Ooh, very nice. Pretty cool, that, right? And the music? I know. It's so cool. Um, so I love, I love, um, using hourly concepts for any type of animation like this, where it looks like a movie. I can't do this. Um, you could do this on the software if you were super savvy, not something that. It would take um, a lot of time too. Like maybe your time is better spent writing. <laughs> yeah. And that's the thing is I always say to authors like marketing, you know, you write this amazing book and then all of a sudden you're like, oh my goodness, I have to market this. I wrote it. Now I have to market it. I'm now, I, but I'm good at writing. Like I'm now a marketer. Like it's just crazy that all the stuff that goes into it. So um, it really is nice kind of simplifying the um, actions by having some help here. So this is a great way to utilize that service. I just wanted to ask you something else about hourly concepts. Yeah. If you're writing a tagline or a hook. What do you provide? I'm assuming they're not reading the whole book to come up with that. So are you like just giving them like a one page description? No, it's not even that. All we need is your book blurb. That's it. Okay. And, and they do because it's part of who, you know, the backgrounds of the project managers, um, they obviously read that book blurb. And if they feel like they need a little bit more, they might go to your sample page and read your first chapter or, um, you know, go to some of the, the five-star reviews and get some ideas from that too. But Ooh, really good. Yeah, that is cool. it is. It's pretty neat. It's one of my favorite pieces. And then the other one that, I really like that. Uh, whoops, let's go hey, yeah. towards the end. Here we go. Um, animated book covers, in case you guys didn't know what I was talking about before, this is a great way to hook your readers by animating your book cover and making it come to life off the screen. Oh, wow. I know. It's really fun. And uh, Kathleen, who works for our company, likes this one. So this is my book, Pay Attention to the Eyes. Okay. <laughs> Creepy, <laughs> but um, kind of neat. The bubbles and the eyes flash at you and then the war of the sea kind of moves off the plate. So I use this for an ad that I run um, and it's been really a great ad. The return on investment for my ad has been fantastic having it end with an animated book cover. Mm. Are your book covers something that you also created in Book Brush or did you hire a designer for those? Yep. So we have, um, that's a great question. So remember, I always said, if you get lost, go home. So one of the things that we have here is custom cover design packages. So we have, I think, four or five cover designers now. And here is where it starts. And then you can do some add-ons. So all of, I, I do not create my own covers. That is not something I feel that I'm confident in doing myself. So I do get them done by our, by our service. Um, and we do we have a ton of clients that use the software. And then when it comes to book covers, they use the service, which is nice because they feel like they're in one place getting everything done. And those covers are phenomenal. I mean, I do do my own covers and um, they are not as, you know, they're better than most, I think, people who try to do their own cover. <laughs> Like the, the 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 fonts, the way that the writing is so visual uh, yeah. is something that I have not figured out and I think makes for such a professional looking book cover. It does. And fonts are funny. Um, it's, fonts are actually one of those things that I end up spending hours on because it's not it's not something that comes to me like organically. So I have to like research font. 
And then I go down this, I can be in a font hole for days, um, <laughs> trying to figure out like the right fonts for certain things. So that's actually one of the things that I lean on our designers for is font recommendations, because I do think font tells a story in itself. And, um, you know, even this font up here with um, sideliners, I think I argue, I didn't argue, but my my beta team had like very different opinions because I always use my beta team for everything on mm -hmm. this font. And I ended up going with it because I thought that it would be really fun and neat. But yeah, it's it's definitely an art form, which is why I do like using designers for certain things, because I think they they just that's the their industry. That's what they know. So I think it's really helpful to have a second opinion and and which is why beta teams are so good my assistant just got back to me and sent me this so oh, your hub thing yeah before we go i'd love to share this with you absolutely i rely really heavily on my um street team for a lot of things so this was when hunterland went out and i'm not yeah the available nows are here so we give them everything we give them the book in case they want to make their own we give them um the 3D version, the regular cover, we tend to give them two versions, one with spine and one without. So we normally give them an e-book version too, but I haven't been on this in a while. This could be because we're getting ready for the second book in the series. So maybe my assistant's clearing things out, but we do an audio available now. We do vertical ones um, at buy now so we can link them. We do regular posts for release day. Um, posts that they really liked. So this one right here with the girl and guy kissing was my beta reader's favorite one. So we did a bunch of different variations of that for them. Um, and then we do some, this one over here is a review. We do a lot of review ones. Anyway, we give them this link and then they can play with this link however they want. They can download these books and use them or um, if they want to learn a little bit about the book over on the left-hand side is the about. So I always have some type of blurb here, whether it's the full blurb or not. This one is not the full, full, full blurb. And then all the different places that they follow me so that they can tag me. So this has been like a really nice way for my street team to be able to use all of the different variations of images that I've made um, or my designers have made and be able to promote me on release day because it is very, very helpful to have your very enthusiastic readers promote you on their social because you would never be able to reach their audiences without their help. Yes, absolutely. So these are really neat. And this is, you get more pages the higher you are on the software. So if you're platinum, I do believe it said three, but I actually think it's five or 10 now. Um, so that's really nice because if you have a series, you want to include all of them. And I could do more here too, if I wanted more than just the about or the promo images. Now I'm not in the editor place. I'm in it as a viewer, which is why I can't do it. But if I wanted to add on to the series here, this could be like Hunter Lynn, and then I could have another one next to it. And it could be Hunter Lore, which is my next book coming out next year in this five book series. So yeah. I could have all the series here too. So they could click back and forth to whichever book they wanted to show the, the different order of them. Very cool. Fun oh, stuff. I know about. <laughs> how, do I, how do I stop sharing? Oh, there we go. <laughs> all right. Well, I have learned a ton and I hope that everyone else has as well. I so appreciate you coming and giving us so much time and, showing off all of these cool things thank you and thanks for letting me chat i told you we got to tell your audience when we, we met <laughs> earlier i was like i'm italian i can talk forever i got the hand gestures going so <laughs> i'm so grateful that you guys um you know had me on today and get let me get everything out there and i hope i was helpful and um you know i'm just so humbled by all of you and all your hard work because i know what it takes to be an author and yeah <laughs> virtual hugs <laughs> awesome all right well we will say goodbye there and again check the description for the link to book brush and uh to sign up for my email list so that you can jump in on that giveaway for some some book mark on uh tickets and i'll do even one better just because i had so much fun today 
If you guys sign up for hourly concepts and you can do a consult call to figure it out if you want to, I will throw in a free bookmark on ticket. So Ooh. how about them apples? Sign up for the virtual service and we'll give you a free bookmark on ticket just for signing up. But there will be five winners anyway. So <laughs> at least five of you will get free tickets. Fantastic. All right. Thank you again. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks, guys.